we're away. We're ready to join the trail, suitably refreshed. Despite several pints, <laughs> and I think a couple of bottles of white, like a lot of booze. I feel great. Right, am I going the right way? That would be not great. I feel great. I'm all strapped up. I've managed to go to the uh, chemist and get a, a knee brace and an ankle brace. And I've got my blisters, they're all taped up and... Uh, let's put some miles in. While I feel positive, I'm just going to crack on here. Let's go. Kirkby Stephen. It's been emotional. There you go. I've done 82 miles. 108 to go. <laughs> let's go. So not... 108, so not quite halfway. Halfway in the amount of days, because I'm going to do some long... On the uh, itinerary, there's a few sort of 11 mile days. <laughs> but we're not going to rock with that. We're going to rock at least 15 a day. So I've set off from half, uh, set off at half 10 from Kirkby Stephen. So I'll probably be walking till quite late on, if I'm going to get 15 miles in. Just if I keep stopping to s talk to a camera. <laughs> there's the lakes. There's the dales. Ah, right, here we are at the nine standards. It's too windy to tell you anything, but... The nine standards. No one really knows what they are. I think it's like a crossing point. Um, and they date back to the Iron Age. <laughs> I'm just recycling all this off some gadget that, uh, <laughs> that I got talking to. So if it's wrong, don't blame me. May. Don't mind if I may. Look at these. Some legends in the game have put these huge slabs down. So you don't have to walk on all this uh, boggy, peaty, sort of peak dockety land. And uh, as a landscaper, I'm just admiring the stones. Some of the uh, some of the colour patterns in them are stunning. Ah oh, no! <laughs> look at that, as soon as I start bigging up these stones, look what happens. Bosh! <laughs> Back on Peter Postlethwaite. Diddy! Look at this sheep here. Red tezzers hanging off his neck. Oh, there's a joke. There's a joke here somewhere. Ah, couldn't think of it. thing about Yorkshire is it's just got a better quality of sheep. Look at that, award winner. Goon. Get up, go on. Yes. Right, I've just passed through Keld, which is a tiny, tiny little sort of hamlet of a place. There's a couple of campsites there though, and a lot of people, well, that's the stop, that's where people stop. Um, on this day but that would mean just doing 11 miles today and that's not good enough really for me so and it's getting it's cracking on a bit it's sort of four or five o'clock but it's a lovely it's a lovely evening a lovely evening 
My legs don't feel too bad. My feet feel okay. So I'm going to put in a bit of a night, a bit of a, a late shift on this one. So I'm going down the valley, the valley way. It's been decided. Ugh. Down there. It's getting, getting a bit later into the evening, but I'm feeling fit, feeling good today. I tell you what, I don't get. I'm the opposite. When I, I don't get hangovers, I get more motivated when I've had a drink. So last night, I got pretty pissed up, and then today I've been full of beans. I've been making little detours to film uh, waterfalls and stuff, and just feeling upbeat. And I'm walking off. I'm going above and beyond. So we'll get right to the end of this valley then. It's about three miles, four miles. But it's all quite easy track. And then hopefully we'll find somewhere to pitch up, but we'll see. We'll see what uh, lies around the corner. Come on, soldier. Pull yourself together. We've got this. Come on. No one gets left behind. Get up. Come on. Let's go. Soldier, come on. Come on, stick some Vaseline on it, let's roll. Come on. Too many fallen comrades. Comrades. It's dropping like flies. In the valley of, well. You can hear the pelicans circling, knowing, knowing the old days are getting a bit tired. Not going to end up like my fallen brethren though. Not going to end up like my fallen homies back there though. It'll take a lot more than a lack of Vaseline. To... I'll tell you what, there's so many different birds kicking about down this valley. Maybe a right dawn chorus. Yesterday was a slog. This is just, I feel like I'm just getting into a bit of a stride today. <sighs> I stumbled across this, look, the King's Head public house in Gunnerside. There was another pub I was aiming for that's two miles down the road, so I've just stopped for a pint of black sheep and a bag of crisps. Mm. That's good. <sighs> uh, I managed to bat on to the other pub, so I've done a fair few miles today. Um, and I <laughs> had a couple of wets, uh, I didn't know where I was going to stay, I got talking to the barman and he was like, oh, I'll do you a twin room for, uh, with breakfast for 50 quid, something like that, 55 quid. Look at it, it's lovely. <laughs> The views. Ah, and I serve food. I'm gonna have some more beers and some food. Ah, this is glamping, innit? I'm glamping here. I don't care though, I need to rest my feet. The most important thing is getting to the sea, so. Ah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have a few wet wipes. <whistles> a bite to eat. Ah, and a bath, let's do it. So we came out of Kirkby Stephen, up here. This is where my knee was killing me. I thought I was gonna have to tap out. Um, all the way up here, I chose to go, you can go multiple choice here. I chose to go this way. Past these cool stones. Um, the nine standards. And then down here. And then I chose to go straight down here. It wasn't really that boggy, there were some boggy bits. It's hard to navigate down this bit, but I found it okay. Hit that. Whoa. Along here. And then down into... 
into Keld, which is where a lot of people stay, but I thought I thought to myself, I'll just I'll just keep going around here and I'll stay in these woods. But then when I got here, I just got a second wind and I just kept going. So I managed to get all the way down here to uh, Gunnerside, had a pint there, and I was going to stay there, but then that pint kicked in and I was off again. <laughs> and did a few more miles up to uh, Feetham, it's called. There. <sighs> there was a church here, so I was thinking I was going to stay in the graveyard and pitch up in there. Thought, well, I'll go and have a couple of jars in here, and then got talking to the land, uh, dude behind the bar. Managed to get a sweet deal on a room, with breakfast included, so... After 22, 23 miles, or whatever it was today, that is more than welcome. <sighs> Views from the boudoir. Just had a lovely evening in the, um, in the punch bowl pub in wherever it was moles moles on fences see Alice medic Richmond, and you can see it in the background. You see the like a castle thing there. Oh, that's where we're going. Didn't hang about there. Just grabbed a slack handful of chips and ate them while I was walking in and out, straight through. So that's 15 miles, I think, there to Richmond. I'm going to try and put another few in, maybe four or five now. Um, and then when it gets to sort of seven o'clock, I'll see where I am and see see about where where I can pitch up. Right, I was daydreaming, and I've took the wrong way. Done a bit of a detour, which is annoying. Ended up on this gadget's farm. We use Sounder. He's basically said I can go as the crow flies through these fields, over towards that big oak tree in the distance. <laughs> not the time for doing this I'm going to be losing my light soon I need to find somewhere to kick um, he said that there was a pub <laughs> there always seems to be a pub at the end of every day that I'm walking which is I mean it's good it's not much there's not yeah. so he said that they might have a beer garden that I can pitch up in which is not very wild campy but you've got to get what you can and you? you've got to do what you can yeah, so it's like back in the day, innit, when you, a weary traveller would stop at a tavern. So, it's just that. It's just my version of that. <laughs> Some sort of pub crawl. Oh, is it going to be anything else? Come on. We've got all our feet. We can sleep wild if we need to. But it's just nice to... I quite like pitching in uh, beer gardens, if I can. And uh, getting sampling a few of the, uh, the local ales. Right, shout out that farmer. He was dripping, dripping in John Deere gear. <laughs> tezzers, tezzers. And uh, he gave me permission to go through his fields, look. You might, I think he recognised the fact that I was the King of Yorkshire. He knew the consequences of not giving me the key, the freedom to roam his pastures. Look at it, I own this now. So, all this, mine. It was lovely though. Proper Yorkshireman. 
I think real recognise real and especially us Yorkshire lads recognise each other as good lads you know just because he was like three maybe 15 times my age he could still recognise me as a, a wise and kind Yorkshireman and he'd give it practically it, when he dies which judging by judging by the look of him could be any minute I get all this don't really want it I've walked past a pub that had a beer garden that I could camp in and beer a lot of willpower that a lot of willpower but oh, hold on. but the way I see it is it's uh, I've got maybe an hour of light left so it's gonna have to be a bit of a um, bit of a stealth camp this one which <laughs> it's quite hard when your tent looks like an iceberg a glowing iceberg You're all right. As long as you're getting in the right in the corner of a field, set up late, leave early, you're good to go. You're golden. So this is the coast to coast path, and these are farmers' fields in between here. But there's this little corner here, so I can't be seen by either farm. I reckon it's too late for anyone to be doing the coast to coast anyway, and they wouldn't mind. So, bed for the night, I think I'm going to set up in this little corner. Oh. See you later. That's weird. And the thing is, the far, it's the only way that the farmer can get to that field. To that one he might be parked by early doors so i've set my alarm for the crack of dawn so we'll be up and away and there it is there we are just in this little corner There, started here in still in Swaledale, and we, we were taking this bottom route out towards Reith. That's where a lot of people stay. We went through through Reith over the top of this bit. Through Marrick, up to Mask, carried on going through these uh, this woodland, down into Richmond, over the bridge through Richmond. Didn't really stop off there at all. We cracked on. Now this is where I cacked my here. I went all the way up here to this guy's farm who uh, directed me, he let me go through his fields directed me back down to here where I bravely resisted the pub and carried on through these fields and down and round and I'm here just at the in the corner of this field here <laughs> And that's uh, 18 miles I've done today, so that's quite good going. Flat bit of grass, that's all. Up and ready, it's not even six o'clock yet. I thought I'd best get up, it's about half five, quarter to six. Uh, I don't know, because I've turned my phone off. Um, but I'm up before the farmer. Before the farmer comes. No trace left, ob. And it's good that I'm up early today because it's a big day today. It's uh, 
It's another sort of 20, we should have been 23 miles from Richmond, but I put in sort of three or four miles last night. So, I know, we've got about 19, 20 miles to Ingleby Cross, where there's a pub called the Blue Bell. And I'm gonna see if I can stay there. So, either in the, well, we'll forecast rain all day tomorrow. So I'm either gonna stay in there, they've got a field, or I'm gonna see how much the rooms are and see if I can haggle them down. Because midweek and not that busy, you find that a lot of places, if you just get drinking in there and get friendly with the bar staff, and if it's a locally owned place, a lot of the times you can just get a good deal. I mean, I'm getting stronger and stronger. The nearer we get to this coastline, my body is getting weaker and weaker, like my knees and my ankle and everything, but my, my noggin, it gets stronger and stronger because I've decided I'm not, I'm not, well, I'm not finishing in Robin's Bay like uh, you're supposed to do on this. I'm finishing in Whitby because that's where my granddad finished. <sighs> so I'll be doing exactly the same. Any shout for me getting trampled to death by a bunch of heifers because that would be, I mean, he's a one, two, three, four, oh, I know, I don't know, I reckon I could take one, two, three, five, I could take about four or five of them out. And then it's a similar, similar story, innit? I just get swamped by just numbers. Just sheer numbers get me. Yeah, right, lads. I'm gonna film it though, so that it can be, uh, someone else will upload it. Upload me getting trampled by Heffingtons. I'm nervous, lads. Yep, yep. Yeah? Except you, eh? Big boy. Don't even think about it, kid. See? Who's real wizard? Who's the real wizard, Harry? I mean, if they charge me, that's me. Dead. From now on, now until Whitby is just a pub crawl. I've decided. I don't care. I've seen some good ones. I really want to... I really want to stop at the uh, the Lion Inn on Blakey Ridge as well because I know that one from being there, from... I used to go there as a youth. Look at the size of this. Whopper. Uh, uh, uh. Oh shit, it breaks apart. Uh, I can't do it. I don't have a tripod, do I? I don't have a... Oh, it smells lovely. I don't have a tripod, but you'll be at it's chicken of the woods anyway. But I can't. I haven't got a tripod, so I can't show you the fibrous chickeny strands. But it's it's edible. kind of desperate for some water <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna filter a little bit out of the dog bowl just so that I can get some uh, make some breakfast I think it's all right in it all right to do that I'm doing it anyway it's either a new low I'm a genius. I'm going with genius. And the church opens, it opens at 9.30. Which is in a while, but they'll notice the dog bowl's been emptied. And they'll fill it, so I'm not doing anyone any... out of any water. The dogs will be alright. I'm going to sit here, in this church, this beautiful graveyard. 
it's eight o'clock, I know that because the, the bells have just gone on the church for eight o'clock. So I'm just gonna take 20 minutes just to uh, have some oats, have a coffee with my dog water. <laughs> I actually jumped. Actually jumped. Actually jumped. Right, all I'm saying is let's get out of here as quick as we can. Let's be quick. <laughs> oh dear. Let's get out of there, shall we? Rather risk it with these buffaloes. Ah. Buffalo soldier, anyone want a slice? Look at that white one. Albino. Albino. Ah. Albino did flow. This has been the toughest log yet my ankle is just completely blown up so I've had to take 20 minutes out smashed a load of ibuprofen in and uh, it's not been the most scenic of days it's um, it's the bit between the, the the dales and the moors the perineum and uh, so there's a lot of road walking, tracks like this, it's just and farmers' fields. So I've not really done much filming. Plus, I just head down trying to get to where I need to go. I think I've got about a mile left. So I'm just going to hobble my way in into town. I'm putting on a brave face for for lads. Uh, Hobble my way to this pub and I think uh, see what ales they've got on and they might even have something a little bit stronger just to numb the pain. Maybe have some whiskey I think. That's a good idea. <laughs> Get some whiskies down me. Made it to the blue bell. Let's see what they've got to offer. This place has got a picture of the sea at Whitby. It's meant to be. Falling on my feet again. The blue bell camping for a tenner, and you can get a breakfast for seven quid. And they've got this IPA, the Coast to Coast IPA, which is just it's a bit bitty, but it's smooth as. I've got a few ales on there, so I'll be uh, I'll be sailing through them all. It's an early night because we were up at 7 in the morning and cracking on. <laughs> 